Hello friends, this video on algebra part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Topics to be covered in this lesson are introduction, algebra, constants and variables, rules for operations on variables, algebraic expressions with variables, equation, solving an equation. So algebra, what do you think is algebra? Let's look at this example. Let's say that your elder brother has these many toffees, a lot of toffees and you really do not know the exact number. And you have also have good number of toffees. Now we do not know the exact number of toffees you have or your elder brother have. I mean we do not know the actual numbers. But all we know have, all we know is that you have one toffee lesser than your elder brother. So that means if he has 10, you have 9. If he has 20, you have 19. If he has 2, you have 1. So, so we only know that the number of toffees that are there with you is 1 less than the number of toffees that is there with your elder brother. Now since this is always a, a kind of a protocol that every time whenever uh, you get toffees from anywhere, maybe your parents get them, the number of toffees with your elder brother is always one more than the number of toffees you have. So how will we describe this relationship? Because we do not know the exact number of toffees. Sometimes he has 17 and you have 16. Sometimes he has 19 and you have 18. Sometimes he has 100 and you have 99. So how do we describe this relation? So in that case, we might say that, okay, if your elder brother has X toffees, X number of toffees, then how many toffees you have? You have X minus 1. So what is this X and what is this X minus 1? So here X is not a number like 1, 2, 3, 4. These are all numbers, right? Like natural numbers, whole numbers, integers. They are all numbers. But when you look at X, what is X? This is an alphabet. This is not a number at all. But we are using this X like a number. So we are assuming that let us suppose that your elder brother has X toffees. Now this X could be anything. This X could be 10, it could be 20, it could be 1, it could be 2. So if your brother has X, that means you will have X minus 1. That is 1 less than X. So in algebra, we will deal not only with numbers, but also with alphabets. So we will kind of treat alphabets also like numbers. And why do we do them? Why, I mean, why do we at all use alphabets as numbers? That's because so that, you know, we can express these kind of scenarios like this example, which I told you. Similarly, let's say that you and your friend, you both came up with your report card after your exam. Now you scored really well and you are very happy. Your friend scored quite less, but we do not know the exact score of you or your friend. All we know is your friend scored 20 marks lesser than you. That means if, if, again in this case also, if we say that let's assume that you scored Y, that means your friend scored Y minus 20. So these kind of scenarios, these kind of uh, situations where we want to generalize a relationship. So in this case, we do not know the exact score, but we know the relationship in the score. So we make use of alphabets and we treat them as an as numbers we assume that let us say that the score is y let us say that the number of toffees is x thank you please visit examfear.com for free quality education you can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons you can ask your questions you can refer notes and you can take a free online test we have content for class 6 to 12 on physics chemistry mathematics and biology along with practical videos so please subscribe to our channel for daily updates thank you